Thank you for tuning in to Terry Swoop videos. On today's video, I'm going to talk about the actress and dancer, Paula Kelly. Now, she just passed away recently, and I wasn't aware of this because it didn't get a lot of media coverage. She's one of those great unsung, great black actresses that the media has forgotten about. Now, a lot of you may remember her from the miniseries Brewster's Place, where she plays a lesbian lover of Lynette McGee. And everybody in this neighborhood is shaming them and putting them down for being in a lesbian couple. And there's this scene on the show where this, this old woman hates her because she's lesbian. And she, she looks out the window and starts throwing food at her window. That was a really great scene of the show. I thought she should have got an Emmy for this show. Her acting performance on that show was amazing. But she actually started off as a dancer. She started off as a dancer in the early 1960s. Her first Broadway show was in 1964 in the show Something More. And then in 1969, she acted and starred in the show Sweet Sherry, where she won a British Academy Award for her performance in Sweet Sherry. And throughout the 1970s, she worked with Gene Kelly. She worked with Richard Pryor. She worked with some of the greatest actors and comedians and entertainers in the history of Hollywood. So she had a successful career, a long successful career working from the 1960s to the 1990s. For some reason, she kind of fell out of the spotlight towards the late 1990s. She retired from acting in 1999 and she kind of fell out of the spotlight. So the last 20 years, she's kind of kept a low profile. A lot of people completely forgot about her. So when she passes away last month, of heart failure at 77 years old a lot of people are like oh man i remember her but the media didn't really do a lot of reporting about her when she died but she's gonna be deeply missed i saw some of her uh videos on dancing she was an amazing dancer if i ever do a top 20 greatest female dancers in history she's going to be on that list because I advise anybody to check out some of her videos, some of her dance videos from the sixties and seventies. This woman was an amazing dancer. So when I do a top 20 video on the greatest female dancers in history, I'm going to put her on that list because this woman was an amazing dancer. A lot of people have different opinions about this topic. Leave a comment. Rate and subscribe.